So today we're working with uh, an exact differential equation, but it's kind of hard to see it in this form. But I'm gonna I'm gonna write it in a way so you guys could understand it. So it's kind of hard to point out if you're just looking at this. You might like, oh, maybe it's separable, maybe homogeneous, and maybe something. But uh, you just have to basically work a lot of problems to see it. But uh, this is simply dy dx equals uh, y minus 2x 2y x, like that, right? So we could uh, simplify that. Or not simplify, but collect terms and not collect terms, but distribute, distribute. So we have uh, 2y minus x times dy, which equals y minus 2x dx. Now, if you subtract, you're going to see the exact differential equation. Or hopefully it's exact. We don't know it's exact yet, but it should be, hopefully. dy minus y minus 2x dx, which equals 0. So I'm going to move it around a little bit. I'm going to distribute so it looks more standard. So we're going to do this. We're going to do uh, y or negative y plus 2x dx plus 2y minus x dy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say m, I'm going to let m equal this part. So 2x minus y. And I'm going to let n equal 2y minus x. Simple enough. And then now I'm going to take the partial of m with respect to y. So that's simply just negative 1. I'm going to do the partial of n with respect to x. And that's negative 1. And since these two are equal, they are now exact. Now we're going to go through the method of solving exact differential equations. So first of all, we're going to have to set or set an equation such that f of x, y equals the integral of m dx plus g of y. This is just one of the methods, not one of the methods, but the method to solve this equation. You have to set this to that. So, what we're going to do now is just plug in what we need. So, f of x, y is equal to the integral of m, and we said m equals this up here. So that's just 2x minus y with respect to dx, and plus g of y. Now you might be thinking, oh, there's a y here. We can't do this integral. Well, in this case, we're going to assume y is a constant and just ignore it and just treat x as a variable and integrate with respect to x. It's like doing the partial derivatives, but the, with, with partial integration, I guess. I, I don't know what you would call it. But you would do this. And uh, you do f of x, y equals. Uh, that's You add the 1 to the exponent, which is 1, so that's 2. And divide by the new exponent, so you get x squared minus. This is just a constant and integral of a constant is just a constant times x, so it's just negative yx or xy, doesn't matter, plus g of y. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to require, I'm going to require, require that the partial of f with respect to y is equal to m. Alright, it's just, it's just one of the things you just have to do. So, here we go. We're going to take the partial of f with respect to y, which equals, well, this, this has no y, so that's just a 0. It's just a constant. So that's 0. This has a y, but it's, a, it's only a y, so that means when you take the derivative of just a variable, it's just 1. So it's negative 1 times x, so it's just negative x. This is a function of y, so that's very simply just g prime of y. You do that, and now we have to set this equal to n, which we set up here was this. So, 
we get negative x plus g prime of y equals 2y minus x. So, we could solve, or if you look at this, this should always happen. You should, all the variables except for y should cancel. So negative x, negative x, so the same term on the different sides of the equation. So they just cancel, such that we get g prime of y equals 2y. Now it's very nice, because now we can take the integral, such that g of y is simply 2 times the integral of y dy. So, we do g of y, add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, you get y squared plus c1. I'm going to say c1 for now. Alright, now that, that we have that, we can plug g of y into this right here. So I'm going to do that up here. Okay, so f, let me move that down, f of x, y equals x squared minus xy plus g of y, which is y squared plus c1. Alright, now that's fine and dandy, but we need the general solution. And the general solution is simply doing this. You just get this part of the equation, x squared minus xy plus y squared plus c1, and equaling it to just a constant. So that's why I chose c1, it's different from c. So, if you realize this, c1 plus c is just another constant, so I'm going to let, or rather minusing, so I'm going to say c minus c1 equals a constant k, whatever, it doesn't matter. Or it could be adding, it, it does not, this could be negative, whatever. Okay, so, the general solution to this exact differential equation is x squared minus xy plus y squared equals k. And now, we have a general formula. I mean, I guess you could solve for y, I believe. But I, I don't think it's necessary. This is fine. This is good enough for me. If your teacher or professor has you solve this with respect for a function of y of x, then uh, sucks to be you. All right, so uh, that's it for today. I'm going to keep doing math problems. And if you have any questions, math homework problems, shoot me in the comments down below. Now, don't really, really shoot me, but, uh, and I'll try to do your homework before your homework's due. All right, see you next time.